Electronic waste or e-waste refers to all electrical and electronic waste and its parts that have been discarded by its owners as waste without the intent of reuse. Think about it. What happens to your phones, computers, televisions, VCRs, stereos, copiers, fax machine and other everyday electronic products when they are no longer useful? These examples of e-waste are with us in our homes, offices and our compounds. The challenge of how best to dispose of used and unwanted electronics is growing bigger by the day. The digital era has led to the increase in production and usage of electronic equipment and gadgets globally also in Uganda and yet little thought had been put into how to manage the electronic waste. So it is important that we plan for, yes, as we get everybody to use ICTs, how do we make sure we responsibly use these ICTs and responsibly dispose of them so that our continued existence as humans is protected. Why care about e-West? While we all thought electronics are safe to use and pose no threat, most electronics contain some toxic materials, including beryllium, cadmium, mercury and lead, which can pollute our soil, water and air with undesirable chemicals that affect our health negatively. This equipment uh, has a lifetime and uh, indeed there is an end of life uh, for each and every equipment. Now, on account of that, the ministry was motivated uh, to develop an, uh, e-waste strategy uh, as well as an e-waste policy to provide a mechanism for which we can collect all the used equipment that has come to end of life for purposes of safeguarding our environment. On the positive side, if managed well, e-waste can also contain valuable material like the rare earth minerals like gold, silver and titanium that can be recovered and reused. According to the Global E-West Monitor Report by the United Nations, in 2018 alone, the E-West generated in Uganda was estimated at 17 million kilograms, with a projection of 4.5 million kilograms of E-West per annum to be generated per year from 2018 to 2022. The government of Uganda has recognized this challenge and has since instituted a legal framework to facilitate the adequate and sustainable management of e-west. The National Environment Act 2019, the National Environment Waste Management Regulations 2020, the e-west management policy 2012, the e-west management strategic plan and the e-west guidelines 2016 have all been developed with a view of mitigating the impact of e-waste on the environment. This was informed by a number of reasons including Rapidly increasing e-waste volumes both domestically generated as well as through importation. No accurate estimates of the quantity of e-waste generated and recycled. Low level of awareness amongst manufacturers and consumers of the hazards of incorrect e-waste disposal and widespread e-waste recycling in the informal sector using rudimentary techniques such as acid leaching and open air burning resulting in severe environmental damage. Manufacturers, how do we engage or how do we spread awareness to the big uh, producers of this equipment? The man manufacturers, the end users, uh, this comes all the way from the factories or, or the, um, the equipment manufacturers for this equipment. How does that loop get closed off? They are producing equipment, but how does it get back into their factory for recycling? So we'll be engaging them in that way too. Following the 2012 e-waste management policy, government has now established a national e-waste collection and management center on 6th Street, an industrial area in Kampala, to deal with this potential threat. The facility has been set up with the objectives to ensure the proper management of electric and electronic equipment at its end of life so as to mitigate the health and environmental impacts to facilitate material recovery for reuse, refurbishment and recycling of e-waste. 
and to ensure safe disposal of electronic waste. The National Enterprise Corporation is designated to manage the National E-Waste Management Center with oversight, regulation and coordination by the National Environmental Management Authority. We are telling now the, the nation and the citizens of Uganda that we are ready now to collect your electronic waste. We shall receive the e-waste and sort it. We shall update and monitor e-waste inventory. We shall sort this mantle in order to reduce the size because the space there is not big enough. And then we shall transport the e-waste to the facility in Nakasongora. Luero Industries Limited has approximately 10 square miles of land sufficient enough to handle all the waste in the country. Under the current law, waste cannot be transported by everybody. Okay? There are people who have license to carry waste. Whom will ask if you have a lot of waste? Probably this applies to those who have large quantities, okay? Mainly. You uh, will require you to hire that waste handler to transport your waste. Why? Because that's waste handler's regulations. Some people may still think that this computer that may be transferred from the X to the waste center might have value and decide on the way there to, to divert them and start doing things that might expose the environment to the toxic co components on the, on, the co on the equipment. Since 2006, the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, has been working closely with the Ministry of Information, Communications, Technology and National Guidance, National Enterprise Cooperation, NEC, and other stakeholders who form the National E-West Steering Committee to see to it that E-West is handled safely and efficiently. But this fight is not for government alone. Private sector and individual citizens ought to step up and be aware of how to properly manage the disposal of unwanted electronic equipment.